for this video we're going to try to find out what the pins at the bows are ranged at. If you want to aim just over the tip of this, it's pretty good at around 25 meters. So I am not going to be 100% sure that it is 25 meters, but uh, it looks like being around that area at least with the standout side. We're now equipping the Swift Mark III bow side. Let's try to figure out what the different pins are for. Still aiming for the triangle. The green one. 8 meters. It doesn't get much better than that. I am going to say the green one is approximately around 8 meters. Now for the yellow one. Again, it is going to require some testing. And once again, I am not sure how big a factor the wind is going to be. But this is just to give you some kind of an idea. Let's see what we got oh that's not too bad at all let's just try to take it at 20 meters 20.1 20 meters testing the yellow one that was a bit high I actually think yep I'm gonna go with around 22 meters for the yellow one now the tricky one I have no idea how the hell I'm gonna be supposed to test this one out but it's just trying it. Remember this is with the Razorback, not the Hawk Edge. Let's try on 50. First... How the hell? I can't see anything down there. But, the red pin. Suppose it's about there. Oh, that seemed to be quite a bit off. That might have been the wind though all the way up here but way too high from 60 meters now standing still going a little left of the target we just want to see the height not too fast about hitting the target at the moment that was actually bang on I think yep the red is definitely 60 that was this one this is the arrow and we aimed at this part Oh, this is getting expensive in arrows, but the stuff I don't do for you guys Now let's bring out the hog edge. I've now got the hog edge, which is a little bit more powerful We're on 25 meters and we'll try to see without scope or with the standard scope on the bow If it's the same as the other one should be just dead on target with 25 meters Where do we have it? It's right there it's definitely around the 25 meters as well. Eight meters. The green one. Hawkage. Oh, it's definitely around there. We're gonna try 22 meters with the Hawkage. Going for the yellow one. 22 meters. Seem to be pretty good to me. Oh yeah. Definitely 22 meters. Let's just try with both of them. 22 meters. Take the hawk edge first. Should be around there. And we will do a follow-up shot with the racer bag. Let's see what we got. Yeah, they're identical. No doubt. Just do a 60 meter shot with this one. Try to finish it all off. There we go, 60 meters. I'll have to go a little left of target as well. And I think I'll just take the racer bag as well, just to show you here at 60 meters. It's just pretty much the same as well. Let's go down and see how close they are pinned together. 
Also, if you do like these kind of videos or any of the others on the channel, please let me know what else you want to see. And we have them right here. One in it and another one just here next to. So it doesn't matter if you use the hog edge or the razorback, the scope seems to be set for the same, even though the hog edge is a bit more powerful. This is gonna be it for me from this video. I hope that you learned something and this is actually useful to you. Please bear in mind that this isn't any official <laughs> guidelines or anything. This is just my quick field testing so you don't have to waste a ton of arrows getting the sights right. I will do another one when I get the five point sight. Thank you guys for watching.